Welcome to the CFA Level 1 presentation on discounted cash flow applications. In this presentation, we will learn how to calculate the money weighted rate of return. So let's look at an example. On January 1st, 2015, an investor buys a stock for $100. A year later, so on January 1st, 2016, the stock pays a $4 dividend and the investor buys another stock for $110. On January 1st, 2017, the two stocks paid total dividends of $10. At that time, the investor sells both of the stocks for $115 each. And the question is, what is the money weighted rate of return? Now remember that the money weighted rate of return is just another name for the internal rate of return or the IRR for these transactions. So if we calculate the IRR on our financial calculator, we will automatically calculate the money weighted rate of return. So let's look at our table here, which tells us how to punch in these numbers in our financial calculator. We start off by hitting the cash flow button right here and then second and then clear work. This will clear the cash flow memory and now your calculator should display CF0 equals zero. Next, we hit 100 minus enter. And this shows that the initial cash outflow or the investment was $100. So this shows that we bought the stock for $100. We then hit the down button and then 106 minus enter. And this just shows the net cash outflow in year one. We bought the stock for $110 and we received a $4 dividend. So the total outflow was 106. We then hit the down button and then it will show you the frequency of the cash flow was one, which is correct because this cash flow is occurring only once. So we simply hit the down button. We don't change the frequency and then we enter the cash flow for the next year. So we hit 240 and we don't hit the minus button now because this is a cash inflow. We just hit enter. So in the second year, we sold both of the stocks for $115 each. So that's $230 plus we received $10. So we have 230 plus 10, which is $240. And then we hit the down button. The frequency of cash flow, we will leave it unchanged as one because it's occurring only once. We hit IRR and then compute. And then your calculator should display IRR equals 10.73, which is which means that your money weighted rate of return for these transactions is also 10.73%. Now that brings us to an end to this presentation. If you found the video useful, please make sure to like it and to subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much for watching and we wish you the best of luck on the exam. Thank you.